but your first show ever. I mean, that's, that's a really big deal. I mean, to be modeling in it, are you nervous, excited, scared? I'm really nervous because I just learned how to walk yesterday. <laughs> you know, I've never done it before. It's completely different. I mean, it's a whole other ball game that I've never been a part of. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready though. I feel like I'm ready. Is there other things that you were doing to sort of prep for the show? Like any sort of special routines, any special dyes where you juicing, cleansing, beauty routines, like anything that, you know, people would want to know that Ireland was doing, getting ready for the show? Um, definitely not juicing. Just ate a scone like five minutes ago. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> You know, I'm terrible, but no, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I've been working out a little bit. I've been traveling so much that I haven't really, you know, really had time to buckle down and be in a routine. Um, you know, I've, I've been, I, I guess the, the biggest thing has been like practicing the heels. I'd say that that's been my biggest routine every day, really walking around New York, or slipping on ice. <laughs> Where does that sense of confidence come from? Because I can say a lot of girls your age, especially modeling in this industry, don't have that level of confidence. I honestly feel it all has to do with how you feel about yourself. I mean, I feel that you feel. <laughs> but I mean, I, th I just think, you know, it's really about how healthy you feel and how you feel inside and that's kind of where confidence comes from. Like, I could never imagine starving myself and, you know, trying to perform and trying to work and trying to look a certain way and really be able to function. I just don't, I couldn't imagine, you know? And I also couldn't imagine just eating, you know, completely terribly, not taking care of myself, not taking care of my body, and then being able to perform as well. Like, it's it's both. It's just kind of finding balance for yourself. Do you ever poach anything from your mom's closet? No, because we're not we're not the same size in anything. Uh, but do you ever look at something and say, God, I wish that was in my size? I mean, she's got all her old clothes from films. No, she does. She has some, yeah, she does. So she has stuff from nine and a half weeks in the closet. Uh, probably. I mean, she has, she has so much. That trench coat was like iconic. She has major stuff in her closet, and I'm like, oh, just get bigger somehow. <laughs> <laughs> she's so tiny. Do you think you overshare? Do you think you okay. share enough? You yeah. do think you overshare? Why? I do. I mean, you know what it, it is. It's just I was just talking about this like literally five <laughs> minutes ago, but you know, it's just I'm having fun and. I mean, I can think of so many people who are amazing oversharers that without them, like, Instagram's boring if no one's posting. Mm -hmm. Am I right? I like, agree you with wanna you. You want to refresh, you want to see what people, I mean, I will admit I've posted way too many selfies in my day. And oh, I'm trying, we're going to talk I'm about trying, that in a minute. I'm though. trying to cut down, but it's not okay. But what it is, it's just, it's exciting. Like, it's an exciting time, you know. I feel like if everyone had the equal opportunities that I have of getting your hair and makeup done, you know, all these different, all the clothes, the shoes, the events, just everything that you're doing, it's so exciting. And you wanna kind of, it's like the modern day scrapbook of, you know, everything that's going on. You're kind of just putting it out there and you wanna remember it. So tell me about this Donna Karen dress. How, how did it come about? Were there different styles that you looked at? I looked at maybe three other styles before I kind of picked this one. Mm -hmm. um, just the way this one was cut, I just thought it was very unique and I really loved it. Preview. Just a little leg action in there. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna give. You're gonna have to wait for the show. You have to wait for the show. 